Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to find value from bulk cards. Now, there's many ways you can go about buying bulk. I'll go over the most common way is when you buy a collection, and if the collection is on eBay or Craigslist and it's unseen, you can pretty much expect that all the good cards have been taken away, and the only way you can make value, in this case, I have Shadowmore, and Shadowmore is a set where a lot of bulk cards have recently become extremely valuable. So if you look at a collection and it has a lot of Shadowmore or Evening Tide, that's very, very good. That's a good sign and you will likely get some value. I'm actually going to show you a collection I had purchased maybe a year ago and there's literally a few hundred dollars in just these commons and uncommons. Uh, Devoted Droid is a $6 card now, it's a common. There's a lot of those. So how do you go about buying bulk if you cannot find a collection or if the people with the collection are very stingy and have actually found the cards of value, even the ones that recently spiked? You have a much better chance with cards that recently spiked, in particular Shadowmore. That's the one you want right now. There's a lot of commons, a lot of uncommons. I actually looked at the list and I have a ton of these, just, just a ton of these random stuff that if you sold it for bulk prices, you would be, which is anywhere between 0.4 and 0.6. But if it's 0.6, it, you have to ship it to the online stores. 0.4 is what my locals pays for it, which is $4,000, so, sorry, $4 for every thousand cards. So, Yes, you're looking at flourishing defenses, which just yesterday was a 20 cent card. Now it's $2.80. You can clearly see why it's the minus one, minus one counters. Now the easiest way to do it is go to your local game store, ask to see their bulk cards, which will be in a box. Uh, my local game store keeps the boxes by set and you can go ahead and find these valuable cards and you can buy them for five cents or 10 cents. At my local game store, they sell bulk for five cents a card, which is not bad if you can get something like oh, five cents a common and 10 cents a uncommon, which it's very good if you could get this card for just 10 cents and then now it's $2.80, assuming that it doesn't really go that much more down, you still get a good deal. So that's probably the most typical way that unless you wanna lose your like liver on Craigslist, that I would go about buying these bulk, I would go to a store, know exactly what I'm looking for, make a list. There are so many commons and uncommons in Shadowmore worth more than a dollar. Even like that Merfolk, that like 2-1 unblockable Merfolk is like 99 cents. So make a list, hit Shadowmore first, hit uh, Evening Tide next, Morning Tide, and they're both, they're all very, very good sets. So when you're looking for Shadowmore, green is actually an incredibly powerful set. So know what you're looking for. You have Devoted Droid, you have the previous card we saw, you have Gleeful Sabotage, which is like a $2 common. This is a very, very good bulk set. I have never seen anything like it. Like New Phyrexia, I felt was amazing because you had Getaxian Probe pre-ban, right? And that was like pre- uh, reprint so it was also very good and then you had all the other Phyrexian mana cards and overall the mechanic Phyrexian mana is extremely pushed so you just go ahead and stock up on those cards but you can find like really good cards in the bulk pile that were not good a few months ago and you can still find them Devoted Druid for instance was a 44 cent card this is not going to be a card people put in their cases. It's not going to be a card people, store owners really know that much about. Now it is almost $7. I actually found uh, six of them, I believe, and just my bulk. Luckily, I didn't sell my bulk because that would have been terrible. So, again, if you have six of these times $7, that's $42. There's no way I would get $42 out of my entire whatever like this came from. $42 in bulk, we're talking about, let's say $4 a thousand. Uh, we're talking about 10,000 bulk cards, right? Even more. So in this case, you just hold on to your bulk and hope something good happens. 
That is my philosophy when dealing with magic cards is you never know. I mean, obviously some cards are really crappy, but even like Aladdin's Ring from Arabian Nights, such a crappy card, but now it's gone up in price. You, you just know, never know. Concord Crossroads, which is a good card, but the Chronicle version is kind of like, eh. Like it was, there's a reason the Chronicle version was like $4 for the longest time, and now it's $12. You really never know about these cards because you have a format, ED8s, where it's just random. A new ed commander could bring out all of these. Amarquette, being minus one, minus one counters, could and has spiked all of these prices. So you have Umbra Mantle. This one is a little harder because it is about a $2 card and it is likely that even if they stored in to pull this out, maybe someone else pulled it out from the bulk in your store. But at the same time, this still could be a $2 card in the minds of many people who haven't seen the recent spike, which makes it a $6 card out. So when you're buying bulk and you can buy Shadowmore, it's a no-brainer. Assuming they have not realized what's happening with it, you can get a tremendous amount of value from just the comments and uncommons. Now, I know a lot of people will say, oh, are you taking advantage of these stores? Are you taking advantage of these people? Not really, because the fact of the matter is these cards were worth not very much until now, and they still might not be worth very much because the decks could, I mean, this is the hype. This is a hype. And when you're dealing with these stores, uh, buying bulk is, it brings in customers. It does a lot of good things for the store. So I think it's okay. Maybe you guys can leave a comment below, but I've had a lot of good deals from the store. The worst case is when you find a good deal and then they pull it up on TCG Player and you just spend two hours and stores will do that to you. There's a particular store that I do not like in Houston slash Humble and they do this all the time. Like they misprice everything in the case so it looks really attractive and then you're like, oh, let me buy that card. And then they type it in and it's like, oh, well, this is what it cost. And then they remove the sticker in front of you and put like a new sticker on it. It's just kind of gross. But a lot of these cards from Shadowmoor, man, that's a great set. If you can pick any set to have bulk in, this is it. And for those of you who have been lucky enough to have played during Shadowmoor, now's the time to get rid of these cards. Now's the time to look for your devoted druids before the pending reprint. I'm almost certain that the card's going to be reprinted as a common in Iconic Masters, maybe. So it's not going to be $6 for very long. Uh, that's not how MTG Finance works anymore. When a card goes up in price and there's a very high demand for it, you need to get rid of it while there's still profit. You can't just hold on to these things anymore. If you hold on to them, the risk is... Unless, if you can hold on to bulk, always hold on to bulk because you can have something like this when the entire set of Shadowmore... I mean, all you need is some bulk in Shadowmore and you will have these cards. I, have t I opened two booster boxes of this Five or six years ago, I went through the boost boxes and I'm gonna show you what I found. It's incredible because these are these are uncommons, these are commons, and these are things that at the time no one would even trade for. They're not gonna even trade a quarter for these cards at the time. So but now, like uh Blowfly Infant Station is a four dollar card. All of their spikes are just the same. I mean, it's a gross looking card, but it's $4. I mean, I'm sure somebody wants it, like for ED8s maybe. And Amaket has made these cards extremely desirable, extremely tradable. One of the aspects I look at is how liquid I can trade these cards, and they are very liquid. You just give them 10% under the TCG mids, and they will move extremely fast because everyone's excited to brew a new modern deck at this point. Again, if you can get a Craigslist collection or eBay collection with a lot of Shadowmore bulk, good. If you have a lot of Shadowmore bulk, even better. But if you go to your local store and you go ask for their Shadowmore bulk to look at, and you can buy them, like my local store, it's five to 10 cents, you will find at least a few of these. Just given the number, like Shadowmore, I believe was a small set. That was when they were doing the one, two, one, two which is kind of interesting that they have done it again. 
it was a small set not much of it was purchased i feel like or not much of it was distributed or customers were not buying this it wasn't like selling well I, it was a great set i really enjoyed it i played during it and yeah i will make a separate video showing you just the value of bulk and why you never sell it because if you sell those two boxes of bulk it's probably like maybe 400 cards in them 500 let's let's be generous and say 500 cards that is at four dollars a thousand that's two dollars i found six devoted droids i found a ton of lethal sabotages probably like i want to say 14 or 16 or 18 of them i don't know why i opened so many of them but that's why I, I have a gut feeling it was a small set because i'm seeing lots of copies of it over and over again but I will make a separate video sometime later this week showing you exactly why whenever you have bulk from these older sets, you never want to sell them. You almost never want to sell them for bulk because even if you have picked it over and over again, these are cards that you're not going to pick out. Even if you picked out this card, it's a 12 cent card. It's a 12 cent card. Like who's going to buy it? Like who's going to buy it for like, how much are you going to buy for like two cents maybe? No, just hold on to it and then it becomes $2 and now you, you paid for all the rest of the bulk that you could have sold with it. And, and that's a good philosophy. It's worked extremely well for me. I do donate a lot of cards to... Actually, I donated a bunch of Goodwill, but I also donate to high schools and middle schools that ask around Houston and Humble. I teach coding at some of the middle schools around Humble and uh, Houston. Actually, not really Humble anymore, but Houston... And sometimes they like to play magic, so I'll donate a lot of bulk to it, which is fine. But from these particular sets, these older sets, and Shadowmoor in particular, my goodness, it's a gold mine. I've never seen anything like this. This is even better than New Phyrexia. Even better than the most broken mechanic in Magic's history. And yeah, I mean, who knows? Like, who knows what else is going to spike in this set? This is just what's happened recently. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.